Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the VNRGroups.com. Today we are going to talk about one of the new feature in the recently released Python version 3.8. As we all know that on October 14, 2019, Python new test version was released. You can see on my screen. So Python is basically now there are so many releases are there. So 3.8 is considered as the latest release. And you can also verify the documentation Python 3.x talks. It will directly pointing to the 3.8 documentation. Here there are new features of Python 3.8 is mentioned. So I'm clicking on this, what is new Python 3.8 features. You can see the first feature itself, they are telling the assignment expressions. Before that, this article is explains the new features in the 3.8 and compared to 3.7, that's what they mentioned here. And Python 3.8 was released on October 14, 2019, just a week ago. Okay. Today we are going to talk about a new feature which is introduced by the Python. So basically it is kind of an assignment expression. It's kind of an operator which was launched by the Python. So this operator, the namely Walrus operator. So they are given the name for this operator is Walrus operator. It is basically due to the, its resemblance of the eyes and tusks of walrus. If you see on my screen, this tusk is there, right? So based on, uh, it is a resembling it. Based on that, they are given the name called walrus. Even the representation of this expression is colon equal to, okay? So already have the two versions of Python in my computer. One is the 3.7 and 3.8. I'm gonna show you how it is going to be executed in the two versions, how we are going to use this operator, in what context this operator came into the picture. I will take only very simple example to make you understand, okay? If you see on my screen, now we have two versions here, 3.7.4 and we have 3.8. There are two versions which we can see on my screen simultaneously, okay? So normally how we are going to assign a variable, so you can say that name is equal to, I'm going to assign the name is Raja, okay? If I say name is equal to Raja, I'm going to print by using the print statement. So you can see here, print of name, if I enter, Raja will be printed. The same way, can I assign the print name of Raja, name equal to, okay, equal to, I'm going to assign in the print statement. Is it possible or not? So. And I enter, it says that an error. It is not possible because name is the invalid keyword argument. So it is not at all possible. The same kind of code I am going to execute in the 3.8. So name equal to Raja. I am assigning some string to the variable now. Name is equal to Raja. Name is now string. I am going to print same name. So name, if I enter, it will print Raja. So absolutely no issues. If I'm going to bring the same expression, name equal to Raja, assigning the string to the variable, so I'm keeping writing this code inside 3.8, I enter, same issue is there. So to avoid this issue, Python bought a new operator called Walrus operator, you can apply directly. So you can use the print statement here, print of name, then we can give our operator is equal to colon equal to. Okay, then we can assign the, the value of, I'm giving the same string here, I'm going to assign here, I'm going to enter. So then output is displayed. So this is a new operator which is introduced colon equal to. So what if I'm going to use the same operator in the lower version like 3.7.4, which is on my screen, I'm going to use print off, then I'm going to print this, okay, name, colon equal to, I'm going to use here, Raja, okay? Same statement. If I enter, it will say that syntax error, invalid syntax. So it was throwing an exception called syntax error, invalid syntax at the colon. So the absolutely it is showing like that, this operator is mainly used, so it is started from using from the 3.8 versions. So it is a new operator. It will reduce um, the, the code read readability. We can directly assign the, the assignment can be done directly in the print statement or like 
wherever you can use you can also use this one in the while loop and for loops and all so in the upcoming videos i'm going to show you so much of code on this um, operator we can explore more onto this thanks for watching the video we'll catch up in the next video as thank you